So you like games about the Asian stereotype? Please do go on about how smart and hardworking we are. Or you can take the initiative. The game before you is Shadow Warrior, developed by Flying Wild Hog and published by Devolver Digital. The developer's last game was Hard Reset, a game that emphasizes fast-paced action against masses of enemies. Now they're doing the same thing with this reboot of the 1997 game by 3D Realms. Let's take a look. There's much more emphasis on story this time around. You're chasing after a katana called the Nobitsura Kage, and you have a demon partner named Hoji. There's your story. The gameplay is linear, just like it has been for the past decade. There's a little bit of exploration and backtracking. Sometimes you have to remove barriers placed on doors you have to go through, so you search around for the statue that powers the barrier and destroy it. Sometimes you'll be able to find secrets in the level, but these so-called secrets are hidden in plain sight. You go down a different path, and there you go. To me, the combat feels more like Painkiller or Smash TV. You go from one area to the next, the area gets locked down, and a bunch of enemies appear. You kill the enemies, then you move on to the next area. And while it does try some interesting things with the combat, they just feel gimmicky. I feel the game focuses too much on swordplay. While it's nice that there are so many abilities and ways you can use the katana, I feel the guns are simply there to make the game look cool. Dual wielding SMGs don't offer much of an advantage over the hack and slash. I do like the crossbow since it does give me a hard hitting ranged attack I can poke them with, but otherwise, the guns seem useless. You can upgrade your weapons and abilities anytime you want, as long as you have what you need to do so. There's some really basic things like increasing accuracy, health, damage, etc. You unlock your special abilities with this, but they're nothing special as far as I can tell. You have your sword abilities, stuns, slows, area of effect abilities, healing, and revive. The game has regenerating health, but it's not in the same way we're used to talking about. It's an ability you manually activate. It's actually worse here, in my opinion. Once you acquire the right abilities, you can regenerate most of your health during combat. As long as you don't die, you can abuse it. No more hiding in the corner. Just run away, heal up while taking some more hits, and then go back in. As you can see, this is just silly. There's no multiplayer support, so no deathmatch, no team game modes, not even co-op. But considering the game mechanics involved, I don't think it would work anyway. So the reboot of Shadow Warrior is a pure single-player game. Emphasis on story and single-player game mechanics. Not much else to say. We've had a lot of these games in recent times, so how will this do in the video game market? In the next few weeks, everyone gets their reviews and their let's plays in. Nothing out of the ordinary. Would be interesting to see which abilities everyone decides to get but I have a feeling most of them will go the cheesy healing route. I never noticed any, but some people are reporting crashes in some levels later in the game. Other than that, not a whole lot will be happening in the next few weeks. After a few months, the game will be completely dead. This should come as no surprise, as this is a single-player only game. Play through it once, and you're done for the most part. This doesn't have the exposure or hype of the more higher profile titles like Bioshock Infinite or Grand Theft Auto V. People will stop talking about the game because there's nothing special here. There are a couple game modes you can unlock when you beat the game, but this amounts to a new game plus where you start the beginning with all your upgrades intact. The heroic mode simply removes the checkpoints and makes everyone harder to kill. I've been reading on the Steam forums that there will be DLC, but I have no confirmation on what that is. I would think it's something that would take advantage of the game mechanics, so I'm thinking it's some sort of survival slash arena mode. Have wave after wave of enemies coming after you and you try to survive as long as you can, but without something like co-op to go along with this mode, this game will just die. The market is already filled to the brim with games okay. like this. Overall, the Shadow Warrior reboot is just an okay game. You'll have a good time, but that's all you'll get. If you have a list of games you need to get through, this will be on it. It's $36, so I don't think it's worth it for what you get. 
I would wait for a sale, maybe wait until it's $10. We'll follow up on the game in a few months. Thanks for watching.